51.62. You can literally see it doing it. Can you smell that? Is that really high expectations for a budget smartphone? Now this is the latest from Realme. We've got the Realme 7 and the Realme 7 Pro. Now Realme have sent both of these devices so we can do a tech flow video on them. I'm actually gonna give away the 7 because I think the 7 Pro right here, I'm gonna reserve for Jed, who is actually in the background of our studio. Because these phones, for the price, have some insane specs. Now, if you'd like to be entered into the giveaway, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and just below that like button, the comment section, let us know your favorite feature of a smartphone. Is it the camera? Is it the screen? Just let us know and you're in. So this for me is really, really refreshing to see. You can actually pick the Realme 7 in the UK up for £179 and the Realme 7 Pro for £279. And because of the spec that these phones have, that is really, really exciting. Now this is where it gets super, super interesting. Realme 7 Pro, 65 watt, super dark charge. Now they say that with the dark charge included with this phone, 65 watts, you'll get zero to 100 in about 35 minutes. That is insane. Snapdragon 720G processor here, Sony 64 megapixel quad camera. That is a Sony sensor as well, so interested to see how that performs. All the cameras we use in the studio here are made by Sony. 6.4 Super AMOLED full screen display. Now this is where it gets super, super interesting and why these phones actually interest me personally. You've got an AMOLED screen in the Pro version, LCD screen in the non-Pro version. However, the non-Pro version can actually go up to around 90 hertz and we'll test that out later. 8 gig RAM, 128 gig storage on both of these models. Let's just go ahead and pop open the Pro Box and see what we're actually looking like. Hey, welcome to the Realme family. What color do we have here? This is the mirror silver. Ooh, okay. Okay, so hole punch selfie camera. Excited to see what the display on this actually looks like. Volume rocker on the left. Above that, SIM card tray on the right hand side. Fairly minimal, just a power button. On the back, you can see that raised up camera bump. Now this is actually housing four different sensors in here. Ah, I'll tell you what is refreshing, a headphone jack, three and a half millimeters, next to that USB type C port, looks like a speaker here. You see, I don't think this is a normal smartphone release because let's just get this Realme 7, the non-pro version out the box as well because there's a few reasons as to why a few of you guys might wanna go for the Realme 7 and not the Realme 7 Pro. Like some pretty big differences. And remember, this one is cheaper. Okay, so the color of this one is the Mist White. And just by looking at it through this packet, I kind of think I'm gonna prefer this Mist White. It's kind of, again, another shade of blue, like a pearlescent blue. I actually really, really, really like this. I wanna test out the displays on both of these phones. I wanna test out the speakers. I wanna test out the cameras and the, just the general usability to see what these budget phones are like in 2020. Okay, so both of these phones are now asking me to enroll my face. Nice to see that both variants have got face recognition as well as on the Pro, an in-screen fingerprint reader, and it's built into the power button on the 7. See if I can enroll my face on two phones at once. Okay, that happened in half a second. This still looks completely acceptable. I'm not saying it doesn't, just next to the AMOLED, I mean, you can see the colors popping, especially the white on this display here. Let's make sure the brightness is turned up on both the devices. Okay, so now we have full brightness. I'm not sure if the cameras are gonna be picking this up or not, but just by looking at the screens, the AMOLED is definitely the better viewing experience. Off angle, on angle, and any of the above. So you can actually have this phone in an auto select mode. This is really, really interesting, but you can actually force it to use 90 hertz. So there we go. Now we are in 90 hertz, and as you can see, this phone is buttery smooth. You see, you might want a smoother experience over having an AMOLED display, or you might want to have that AMOLED display with the brighter screen, richer colors, but obviously you're sacrificing being at 60 hertz rather than 90. But if you really think about it, where are you actually watching or consuming 90 hertz content other than when you're really playing games or in the phone's OS? If you think about it, you're gonna be using your phone to watch videos and consume media, which nine times out of 10 is shot in 25 or 30 frames a second, never mind 60. So for general YouTube consumption, I think the phone with the AMOLED display, the 7 Pro, is gonna yield a better experience. 
Okay, we're on the 7 Pro, we're doing a facial recognition test of speed. And that, from the swipe up, is pretty fast. That is using my face to unlock the phone. Now we'll put the Pro flat and uh, see what its fingerprint capabilities are like with my thumb and... We're in. Okay, not the fastest. Okay, now we try the fingerprint reader on the 7, not the Pro. And see, again, here's the thing. You've got your 90 hertz refresh rate on the non-Pro version, and you've also got that fingerprint reader which is in the button. Usually when a fingerprint reader is in the button, it loads faster than an under glass reader. And I'm right. It is. Look at that. It's as if the phone doesn't have a lock on it and I'm just clicking the phone and unlocking it without a passcode. But it's actually reading my fingerprint. If I use a different finger, we can test the facial recognition on this phone and I assume, yeah, it's rapid on here too, probably identical to the Pro model. Okay, so it is a mono sound coming out of the cheaper 7 right out the bottom here. Annoying because if you're watching the phone sideways, that can be quite easy to cover up that speaker. Whereas if we switch over here to the Pro variant, and it sounds a lot more crisp. Okay, that's enough of the things that every single phone can do. Let's talk about things that just this phone can do. Charge 100% in 35 minutes. So this here says it's outputting at 10 volts at 6.5 amps. Okay, so here we have our Realme 7 Pro, which is capable of that 65 watt dart charge right here. We've got our dart charge USB-C cable right here. So let's plug this in. Three, two, one. Maybe I didn't turn on the switch. Okay, so let's try this again, shall we? I'm assuming we're gonna get some sort of cool visual indicator. All of these phones that have fast charging seem to have some cool little, told you, look at that. That is sick, isn't it? So 51%, 51.60, you can literally see it doing it. Camera, let's test out the cameras here. So we've got the pro version. Okay, so that is our ultra wide shot. And then we can actually go into our normal lens. Okay, there's a nice, bit of bokeh on these photos, then we can actually zoom into two times or five times. Wow, that is amazing. Five times and two times, and then again, back to our standard lens. Okay, if we're testing the camera on the Pro, it would only be right to test it on the non-Pro. So we've got here our ultra-wide camera, normal camera here, and then we've got a two times and the five times lens. So there you have it, real me with the seven, the seven and the seven pro. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm pretty sure our editor here, Jed, is gonna be having his mitts on this seven pro. There's a lot in here for the price. And like I said, we're giving away this seven for you guys. If you'd like to enter, just comment your favorite feature of a smartphone down below. We'll make sure this phone gets sanitized and everything before it's sent out to you. But there you have it for this first look. If you want us to do a review of these sorts of things, not something we usually do, but let us know in the comments too. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Adios.